Hello everyone, we are going to find the derivative of this function, which is x cubed times cosine of x. And if you have seen uh, my other video about the product rule, I had a power function and a exponential function in that video. And then for that one, when we differentiate the exponential function, we still get the same thing. So it, um, it doesn't show as much. And so this time I'm going to use this one, which is a product of a power function and a trig function, which will show more when we use the product rule. You can see that both functions will actually change to something else when we differentiate that particular uh, function. Okay, so let's get started on this one. I'm first just going to recall the product rule, which is the product of f and g. And then you differentiate that. And then um, this f right here is not the same f that we have in this problem here. Usually I don't even talk about the f and g, they're just names, right? So we can call this f as the first function and then g is the second function, whichever comes left is the first one, second one, and so on, right? If there is a third function, then we will say first function, second function, third function. But right now, because there are only two functions, so we will just have a product of two functions. And what the product rule is saying is that we are having uh, f prime g, right? So we take the derivative of the first function and then times the second function without changing it. So we are just copying. And then we are going to copy the first function. And then we take the derivative of the, um, the second function. And then we add those two terms together. So that's what the product rule is saying. Now we are going to apply that for the differentiation for this function right here. Okay, so now, uh, first, let me highlight the two functions right here. One of them is the x cube. Okay, what about the second one? The second one is cosine of x. Okay, so when we take the derivative, we know that the first function is x cubed, so we need to take the derivative of the first function, but we do not do anything to the second function, so just copy. Okay, so the derivative of the first function is 3x squared. And then now for the second function, just copy. Okay, so just copy the cosine x. And then plus, right, remember we are adding. Sometimes it will change to a minus sign because some, some of those, uh, sometimes the factors can have a negative sign. So you will see that um, when a uh, negative sign shows up when you differentiate, okay? So uh, for the second term here, we need to copy down the first function. So just copy the x cube. Okay, so just copy the x cube right here. And then what about the second function? We need to take the derivative of the second function, which will be, in this case, would be what? Negative sine of x. Yeah, the, the, the derivative of cosine of of x is what it's negative sine of x. So we have that. Okay, so you can see that um, for the first turn, I only differentiate the first function. I change only the first one, but I do not touch the second one. Um, for the second turn here, I copy the first function. I took the derivative of the second one, and then I have this. And then you can see the highlight in, in red, okay? So now we can just clean up the expression right here. And then we have our final answer which is 3x squared cosine of x. And then now you can see that there is a minus sign right here. And so that will change this middle sign into a minus. And then you would have x cubed and then sine of x. And then you can see that even though in the formula there was a plus sign right here, but then it's really possible that after you apply the product rule, you can have a minus sign in between the two terms. Okay, that's due to um, when you differentiate the, uh, the cosine, right? You will get a negative in front of the sine. So that's where that negative sign comes from. Okay, and then you can also factor out the common factor from both terms, um, which is what? Which is just x squared. And so you're having just three cosine x minus uh, x sine x in the parentheses but it's up to you whether you wanna do this extra step right here. We can actually just take that as the answer. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. 
give me a like and then also please check out my other videos thank you for watching this video i will see you next time